Hello, everybody. It's Kim, and we had a really big storm blow through here last night. You can see it took down one limb off of this tree. I lost a really big one off of that big apple tree about a week ago, kind of where that tractor's sitting, because we had no apples last year. And as you can hopefully see, I'll get you a better angle here, these trees are absolutely overloaded with apples this year because it did not produce at all last year. Now I have come through and tried to thin some of these. I have a long handled um, apple picker on a pole, but obviously I did not get most of them off. So anyway, this tree generally is my best apple keeping tree, I call it. They will stay very well even until a deep freeze on this apple. I come out here in December with frozen solid apples and pick them for applesauce. But since this limb is down, I need to know if my apples are ripe so that I can use them. I want to make some apple juice in order to make apple pie filling and stuff like that. I like to make my own apple juice because I do not spray these at all. They're my ugly apples. I don't care. They have a few little, you know, dimples or whatever, but usually I rarely get any bugs in them. As you can see, there's no worms once you get inside. Yep, let me see. This one's got a little tiny something in there, but honestly, if I'm just using it for juice, I can either cut that section out or not. But anyway, to show if an apple's ripe, take one or two apples off your tree, cut down into the seeds like so. Expose any seeds that you have in there. And if they are dark brown, oh, no seeds in that part, they are ripe and ready to go. So let's take a peek. I hope these are ripe because I really want, don't want to waste them. All right, so, yep, brown seed. Hopefully it's focusing good. Brown seeds, the darker the better, obviously, but these seem to be brown enough. There you go. My seeds are brown. Now I know I can harvest this limb that broke. And I can go around to some of my other trees and check those as well. Because I like to do a variety. If you're going to do juice or cider or apple pie filling or whatever, I use a variety. Now I have, like I said, I have that long handled picker. I have a few pears left on my tree. I think I'm going to grab those off, the ones I can pick. I know those are ripe. I've been eating those for over a month. And I like to add a little bit of pear into my apple, so apple juice and my apple cider. It just kind of adds that little bit of sweetness. So anyway, if you have any questions on how to tell if an apple is ripe, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.